Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. This is the second video I'm doing in the set of videos where we're resolving this boundary for this little 23 acre ranch east of Waterford, California. In the last video, we reviewed the survey maps for the project. So I got a really good reaction to that first video. I'm not sure why. Uh, but you guys are like, we want more. So here you go. <laughs> here, I'm giving you guys some more. Um, I think there is a real shortage of good content about how to resolve boundaries. So um, I, I am making a commitment to do a few more of these video sets. And we'll resolve the, the boundaries for some different parcels together. And I'm not just doing that for, for you guys. On YouTube, I'm, you know, my people need need this training too. So we'll kill two birds with one stone. So uh, we'll make that happen. So in this video, uh, I'm going to start to put together what we call a boundary search drawing here at RH. That's essentially where we try and put together the, the record maps. I call them filed survey maps and, and the deeds if we're able to Kogo the deeds. And, and we do that to just kind of see how the record information fits together with, you know, how the how the uh, deeds and maps fit with each other and how they fit with evidence on the ground, primarily monuments, but also occupation. <clears throat> and then we'll use that search drawing to create search points if we want to go back with survey grade stakeout. Uh, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. just depends on what we find the first trip. And we also will use that boundary search drawing as the basis for our what we call our, our final line work drawing, our resolved line work drawing. So I have a, a, the drawing set up here. I've got some ortho photography placed. You can see I've x-ray in our point drawing from Carlson survey that has our found monuments. There were only four, so there weren't very many. <clears throat> and so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to attempt to place these maps that, as best as we can with the with the the four monuments that we have so we'll see if we can get through that in this video so i'm going to start with this original sub map now this is the old map remember it had some pretty large closure errors we've, we've got five feet of closure errors uh five feet in multiple closure errors that we're kicking around so we got to be careful but we're going to see what we can do with this old map so now i've been through this process once already because i didn't want to fumble with it in the video so I'm cheating. It's not going to be this easy. you got to trial and error this a little bit. So when I first dropped this map in, I held this. 511 is an iron pipe. Uh, we found it. It was probably 18 inches down. Uh, but we did find it. It was hard to find. There was no fences here. So it was hard to find, and the dirt was super hard. But I had my foster son, Marty, helping me a little bit. and He dug the hole. Good job, Marty R. <clears throat> so we found that. So when I first placed this map in here, I, w I wanted to rotate to number 520. So this was uh, a rebar. That was also deep, uh, but it was in good condition. We did not find a cap or tag in either one of those, which is not uncommon. So what I'm going to do with this map now is I'm going to rotate from 511. And I'm just going to rotate down to 520. Okay, so you can see I've got that in there now. Now you can see we there's some distance error here, right? We don't we don't land exactly on the point, so we can just see how much that is. You got to be careful if your points have Z's. So uh, we missed that rebar by two feet. Now these were originally on this old sub map. These were three inch by three inch redwood hubs. Then then the surveyor came in. He did a parcel map here, and he set this pipe in these rebars. So. For whatever reason, his rebar we're finding two feet off of the old map. Now, it could be that he set the rebar at the Redwood Hub and there was just two feet of measurement error in the original map, or it could be that he didn't get the, reb the rebar exactly where the Redwood Hub was. I'm not sure. Um, but you pick two points to start when you place your first map. So I've done that. <clears throat> now, we've got a third point. I, we've actually have two more points on this map that we can check. So then you go see, how do I fit the other monuments? So we're going to come down here, and right down here we found a concrete monument. And you can see there's a little bit of a, of a distance, a little bit of a gap there. So we've got 
I think it was about five feet. Nope, it was a foot. So we hit within a foot. That's not too bad, right, for a map of the five foot closure error. Um, and it's even less than that if we measure perpendicular to the line. In other words, if we just hold that monument for line and not for distance, it's even less. So 4,300, that's really good for the error of map that we're working with, which is in the 1920s. So we fit this monument good. Now, I thought all the way over here on this end, I thought I found the monument at this point. What I realized later on was that I didn't find a monument here. So this is the monument I found. It's a four by four wood post, old wood post with a nail on the top. <clears throat> when I first looked at this, I was like, man, we're really missing that monument a lot. But it turns out this monument was not set at the corner. It was actually set south online. I'll pull up the record, we'll look at it, that shows us that. But I just, let me explain something here. So when I when I anchor here and I rotate here, that's a pretty short, what we call basis of rotation compared to this large distance over here. So I would expect as I moved west, anchoring here and holding this monument here, that my error, my fit from the map to the monuments is gonna get worse as I go west but if we zoom in here and look this actually fits pretty good if we just compare it to line there so if we zero out these z's so we actually fit just over two feet here which is really good considering you know that we're going this far on a 1920 map i'm pretty happy that i hit that within two feet Let's measure this distance up. I think it's about 24 feet. I can't remember. Okay, so we're 23.21 feet, and I think I think in the record it was supposed to be at 24 feet. Let me go show you guys that other map. And this is part of the reason why your map research is important. Right? I thought that monument was at the corner, but it wasn't. Okay, so it's this map right here. So this is an old county road. And you can see uh, right here is the little jog down on Dynstag Road. So our parcel's right here. And then if you go up 11.62 chains, there's this concrete monument with a 4x4 witness post at the quarter corner. And then you go up another 28 chains, and, you, and you're supposed to get to the 4x4 post here, which I think is what I found. So let's see if we can figure that out. So we've got that distance there of 28 chains. So let me do that math. So that's 18, 1,848 feet now. <clears throat> I think, I don't know this for sure, but I, I'm fairly sure that quarter corner is across from our client's north boundary. So I'm pretty sure that quarter corner is in here. So he says it's 11.62 chains. So let's go ahead and see where that lands. So we're gonna go 11.62 and then I'm gonna scale this by 66. Okay, so it's not. That actually, if you use his distance that quarter corner would be up here. <clears throat> okay, now I think we go the 28 chains from that quarter corner. So that's another 1848. So let's see where that lands. So I'm going to draw a circle here, 1848. Okay, so that lands here. So that would be, so you guys see I went up the 11.62 chains. Then I went up the 28 chains to get to what I think is that 4x4 four four post. Now you can see I don't fit very good, do I? So that that's quite a ways. So I'm not sure what's going on. I know this is a survey monument. It even has a protect the monument sign on it. But I'm just not sure. I don't have right now a record document that shows it being 24 feet from... 
I don't have any document showing it being 24 feet from 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 this corner where I found it. Okay, so there's there's no reference in the record there, but I, I'm fairly confident it's good for line. Now, one of the things I would like to do when I go back is I want to go search for this post here. Now, the problem I've got is this is actually county road, but this farmer right here, like he was ready to shoot me when I went in on this county road. So he has it illegally gated. I jumped over the gate. There was no there wasn't a no trespassing sign and I knew it was a county road. I jumped the gate and walked in here to survey this monument. He went ballistic. So I'm not 100% confident I can get in here to look for a post without getting shot, but I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to see if I can find the post here. Cuz I'd like some other way to confirm this line and there's just I don't have a lot of other monuments and I'm fairly certain so if you look at this old county survey we go up another 12 chains. I'm pretty sure that's in the lake. So let's see if we go up 12 chains here. Yeah, so that, that, that monument is in the lake. You can see this is probably on the section line here. It comes across. <clears throat> so I'd, I'd really like a way to confirm that monument. I got this other county surveyor here, but I don't. I don't think it um, shows what we need. And there's just not any other records out here. So they're showing that 264 feet. Let's see if that's our corner, guys. I don't remember. Township 3, range 12, section 28. So we are the corner common to 27 and 28, that north corner. So here's 27. So they're saying 264 feet south. They set a witness corner, which they say is a found concrete monument. So I'm just curious. Let's go back to our drawing. If we drop down, let's extend our line here. Whoop. So let's extend our line up to where we think the section corner is. And let's come back down 264 feet. Yeah, so there might be a monument here. So that would be that would be 264 feet south of where they think that corner is. They say it's inaccessible, right? It's probably in the water. But there might be a witness monument here. I, I can create stakeout and go look for that. I'm going to drop a point right there. So I need something else. I'd like something else to confirm this line. I'm, I'm fairly certain that monument marks line, but I would like to confirm that. Now, the other thing I took a look at, well, well, and, we'll and we'll look, we'll look for that, that monument there as well. So what I'm gonna do, just for references, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw some lines out here. Now, the other thing I can do The other thing I can do is I've got some redwood hubs that were here on our original submap, so I can look for those. Man, I don't know. There's been some road work here, and there's there's a fence in here. I just I'm gonna go look for those redwood stakes. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna find them. But one other thing I look at is I just kind of see how do I fit occupation. So you can see right here, man, this is re looks really good. It's right on that fence, this line right here. So this would be the east line of our subject parcel. This line also lands right on the fence. Okay, there is not a fence here. So what I'd like to, to do is when I go back out is I'll get some shots on these two fences just to confirm that what I see in the aerial there. This line looks pretty good. This line looks pretty good. Uh, you know, it's going through the building here. There may have been a merger or something else here. But, I mean, this this looks pretty good to me. This looks excellent right here. This looks pretty good. You know, I think this building's on this guy's parcel. Uh, the line goes right by the building. 
So I feel like we've got a fairly good good fit on the ortho photography. Okay, now I know this video is getting a little long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop that, stop this video, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this second map just to kind of confirm what we've got here. We're gonna, gonna see if this map fits because I actually found the monuments on this map. I found this 5H rod and I found this pipe. So in the next video, we'll, we'll do that and then we'll talk a little bit about our next steps.